my name is Elisa. Welcome to my channel. I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay and today I have a thrift haul for you guys. I went to the Goodwill and to the Salvation Army and I found some okay things. Probably gonna eat my words from my last video because I said I don't really find any good stuff and then I found some pretty good stuff. Not complaining. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So the first thing that I found is this denim jacket. It's by Cole, and I don't remember the size. I think it was on the inside tag. It's a size large, but look at this embroidery on the back and those studs. And then on the front here, it has some more embroidery and some more stud details. This thing was just amazing. I saw it, the thrift store did not have it marked up, so I grabbed that. Then I actually found a brand that I've never found before, but whenever I saw it, something made, I mean, I just gravitated towards it. And then when I touched it, I knew it was something nice. And the brand is Save the Duck. This is a size one or size small. It's a full zip and it actually zips all the way up to the hood, which I think is pretty cool. Um, it is obviously not real, uh, real duck. It's ultralight jacket. We don't use real down, but a state of the art technology. So it's not real duck. It's not real down. Um, it is a nylon shell and a polyester filling, but this thing is so soft. I mean, it feels like it would be filled with down. And it's just a kind of lightweight little puffer jacket. There is a little bit of, not really damage, but a little bit of wear on the front of the pocket there. But other than that, this thing is in excellent condition. Then I found this and I picked it up just because of the brand and I didn't focus on it as much as I should have. And there is a flaw, but this is rag and bone size extra small, just really open knit, not really knit, but just this like kind of gauzy fabric and then the damage is right there it's kind of just coming unraveled a little bit it's not super bad I'll just note it and I mean I won't be able to get as much for it but that's fine honestly don't really know how much rag and bone tops go for anyway I didn't do comps I just grabbed it should you do comps yes do I always do comps no this is M.M. Lafleur, and this is where I'm going to eat my words because this is a designer and I've never found it before. I never ever thought that I would find it. I found it and they did not price it up. It's just something, I mean, it's pretty basic, size small, just a little high low v-neck tan colored blouse. It is really pretty. So I went in, it's a designer. So I went ahead and picked it up. Um, I like the little gold buttons there at the cuffs. I think the comps on this were like maybe I saw one that had sold for like $50, but the other ones were 35 to 40. So it's not a huge return, but it's more than my average. And then this is a Tommy Bahama. This is a size medium. And if I remember correctly, this one was 100% linen. Let me see if I can find the interior tag to tell you. Uh, it's, 53% linen and then 47% tinsel. And I really liked this kind of peachy color with the stripes and it has really nice feel and drape and texture. So I went ahead and picked that one up. Then I found this here, which is just by Anthropology, and it's just a basic white, uh, it's a size extra large. It's a white uh, basic blouse and then it has some black trim detail. This one also feels like it's linen. This one is 100% linen and I, I, I'm drawn to like lag and look linen type things. That and uh, I also really like to pick up things that would classify as cottage core, you know, a little like floral and kind of prairie-esque. Okay, where are you at? Seriously. 
It's a thing, I promise. <laughs> this is a Trina Turk size small, and this is just a gorgeous kind of retro paisley pattern uh, swim cover up with these kind of crazy, I don't know if you'd classify this as dolmen or balloon or bat wing. I don't know. It is as super gorgeous. So I picked this up and I believe the comps on this one were also about uh, $50 as well. All right, and then I went through the t-shirt section, which I don't go through very often, but I do sometimes. And I found this, it's Queen Official Merch, size small. And it just says Queen on the front there and then has that nice little design. And it almost has like a washed, faded sort of, I don't know really what you would classify that as, but I liked it, so I grabbed that. Then I found this Vineyard Vines, size small, maroon, little pocket there with the design or the logo. And then it also has the Vineyard Vines logo down the arm. And then of course, the little whale there on the back, just a long sleeve, simple tee. Pretty sure this is men's, but it's pretty, pretty, it's a bigger size for it being a small. Speaking of men's, I found this Zara Man size small, slim fit, black button up with these little white polka dots. It's pretty substantial. It's actually a pretty, uh, it's a thicker weight cotton. Are you 100% cotton? That does not have an interior tag, but it definitely feels like cotton. Then I found this J. Jill new with tags, size 12 petite, brown, kind of uh, corduroy, not corduroy, velvet pants. And they come down to a straight leg there. So these were new with tags, larger size. I could not pass those up. Then I found another new with tag item. This is Lulu's size large. It's just a really nice black pant with pockets on the side or pockets and then a zipper on the side. And it kind of goes down also maybe more of a tapered leg than a straight leg. And I'd also say that this probably hits at the ankle. Man, does it have some hair on it? I'll definitely have to wash it, lint roll it, do all the fun things with that. Then I found this Zara size medium. It's a pink sweatshirt, but on the front of it, it says New York and has the New York skyline. And it's a short sleeve sweatshirt. So I went ahead and picked this up because I figured this would be really good for spring. Then I found this Cynthia Rowley size medium, 100% linen, V-neck, little button front short sleeve blouse. Again, I really like the linen wagon look style on that. And then this is a brand that I have never found before. I've seen uh, Zoe from Zoe Chat. She finds it all the time at her thrift stores, but this is Outdoor Voices. It's a size medium. And I've looked up the style. It's called the Jasper Wrap Skirt. And it's just this really pretty green wrap skirt. It's definitely a mini. And I love the flow and the drape to that. So I picked that one up. And then in the t-shirt section where I found the uh, that queen shirt, I also found this Life is Good size extra large. And I really liked this one because it just has the little baseball on there, which also is really good for spring coming up. Just in this nice gray color. Has the little Life is Good happy face on the back there. So I went ahead and picked that one up. T-shirts are actually pretty reasonably priced uh, at my Goodwill. They're priced at $3.79. And then I think at the uh, Salvation Army, they price them at like $2.50 or $3, something like that. This is a We The Free size large, just a simple little black and white with a bat wing sleeve, little detail there. I couldn't pass this one up either because I really like the style of We The Free items as well. 
speaking of, here is another We the Free. Um, this one is a size small. Sorry, let me show that again so you can see that. It's just a blue oversized button front long sleeve blouse. And I really, really liked this one as well. I think this one, let me look and see. This one is linen and rayon. So it's a nice linen blend. So it has nice drape to it as well. And then I've actually sold this exact shirt before, just in a different size. This is J. Jill Love Linen, size medium. This nice little pastel purple and blue uh, kind of mandala pattern on there. I really, really like this. And it's a button front, long sleeve. So I went ahead and picked that up. Then I found this flax, size large, sleeveless, solid white, just basic little lag and look tank top here. And this, I couldn't pass it up because flax is a decent brand and it was flawless. There's no stains on it at all. So I went ahead and picked that one up and I think the thrift store had it priced at like $3.99. So the Salvation Army. If I had gotten that at uh, Goodwill, it would have been $5. This is listicle, size small, and this is just an oversized, chunky knit yellow and kind of cream color sweater. I got this mostly just because it's oversized and I really like the color combination on that. Then I found this Show Me Your Moo Moo size extra small knit a uh, leaf pattern little, I, I'm pretty sure this is a dress or a tunic. It's definitely oversized. It's very lightweight. I'm going to do a, words. I'm going to Google lens that and see exactly if I can find, see if I can find the exact style. And then last, but certainly not least, this is actually a quick one here, is this new with tag Lucky Brand size small, little V-neck lightweight boho pattern long sleeve little blouse. So I didn't get a whole lot, but I needed to pick up something because I still had not received my 200 pound order from ThreadUp. And to be honest, I still have only received 100 pounds of it, but I've reached out to ThreadUp. Hopefully that will get resolved soon and I will either get a refund so I can purchase more or they'll just send me more, whatever the case may be. But anyways, let me know your favorite item in the comments down below. And thank you so much for joining me. Bye.